Well, I, I think what we did is we really just took it to the next level. What they did is set the conditions for the things to do what we did here. Meaning uh, we started to focus on retrograde a little bit more and still maintain our contact with the enemy and still our touches with the ANSAF security forces by letting them build the capacity to take over the battle space so we don't have to. Well, what we're really proud of is the way we uh, embrace the Security Force Assistance Mission. And what that is is uh, focusing on the advisor teams to set them up for success. And we brought those enabler packages that you know, help the ANSAF go to the next level. And once those conditions were set and they felt comfortable in that area, then we quickly turned it over to them and retrograded all the gear and equipment and even Marines in some cases. Well, it's significant because it's really, uh, it's the future of Afghanistan. You know, they have their own security to be able to sustain themselves without us around, uh, build their confidence, set us up for the elections, you know, in 14. Uh, I think it's a must have. And this is really, uh, really a monumental time uh, because what they've shown here in just a short period of time, I think 11 months that we've been here, seems short, uh, is that they've shown that they can do it without us. And they're routinely doing it every day without us now. Well, no, we're just uh, very proud of the accomplishments. And uh, really, we are uh, mostly proud of the fact that we were able to continue, continue the mission from all the RCTs that came before us.